Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to send notification on Telegram on Google Form submission. So here let's assume that I am a human resource manager and I conduct employee survey every month by circulating a Google Form. So my objective is that whenever I am going to receive a new response, then I want to send a notification on Telegram to my team members. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I am going to use Pabli Connect. So now to do this, here my trigger application will be Google Forms and my action application will be Telegram. So if you want to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we are going to understand how to send notification on Telegram for Google Form submission. So here let's assume that I am a human resource manager and I conduct an employee survey every month by circulating a Google Form. So now my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new response, then I want to send a notification to my teammates on Telegram updating about the concerns that are faced. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these two applications for which I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So this here is the home page of Pabli Connect. And now as I have an existing account, so I'm going to sign in. But if you're a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So now as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I'm going to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as send notification on Telegram for Google form submission. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Telegram. And now here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case, that is to send notification on Telegram for Google Form submission. So my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new response, then I want to send a notification to my teammates on Telegram. So now to do this here, firstly, I need to go to my trigger window and here I'm going to use Google Forms as my trigger application and here it is. And now the trigger event will be new response received. So this trigger will start working when a form will be submitted and the response will be added as a new row in a Google Sheet. So that means the responses of the Google Forms will be added in a Google Sheet. And now moving to my action window here as I want to send a notification to my team on Telegram. So Telegram will be my action application. And the action event will be to send a text message or reply. So as you can see that I've selected my action application and the action e So here you can see that as I've selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new response from Google Forms, then automatically a notification should be sent to my team on Telegram. So now to do this, firstly, I need to establish a connection between Google Forms and Pabli Connect. So as it is mentioned that the response of the Google Forms will be added in a Google Sheet. So this here is a webhook URL given which will help us to connect Google Forms and Pabli Connect. So now to do this, here I'm going to take you to my Google Form. And now here I will go to Responses. And in Responses, firstly, I need to link this Google Form with Google Sheets. So here I'm going to click on link to sheets and as I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. So here I'm going to click on create. So this here is the Google sheet and over here you can see the name is employee survey responses. It only consists of one sheet by the name of form responses one and it consists of five columns. One is for timestamp, name, email address, summary and the description. So my objective is that whenever there will be a new Google form submission, then automatically in this Google sheet, the response details will be added and it will get captured in Pabli Connect. So to do that, firstly, I need to go to extensions and in extensions, I need to go to Pabli Connect webhooks. So if you don't have this extension, you can simply go to get add ons. And here in the search apps, you can search for Pabli Connect webhooks. 
So over here, you can see that as I've already installed this extension, so it says installed. So Pabli Connect Webhooks is installed. So if you also want to install this extension, you can follow the same process. So now as my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new response, then the response details will be added in this Google Sheet and it should be sent to Pabli Connect. So in order to do that, I need to go to extensions, go to Pabli Connect Webhooks and click on initial setup. So now here in this initial setup, the webhook URL will be set up on the below selected sheet. So here I need to mention the webhook URL. So I'm going to copy the webhook URL from Pabli Connect. And here I'm going to paste the same. And now moving to the trigger column. So the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to Pabli Connect. So here E is my final data column. So E will be my trigger column. And here I'm going to click on submit. So here you can see that the setup has been configured successfully. But as I want that whenever I'm going to receive a new response, then automatically that response should get captured in Pabli Connect. So I need to go to extensions once again. I need to go to Pabli Connect webhooks and here I need to click on send on event. So by clicking on send on event, I have made sure that whenever I'm going to receive a new response, then automatically that response will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. So here in Pabli Connect, you can see that it is waiting for a webhook response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So this here is the Google form which I've created as my objective is that whenever there will be a new form submission or whenever I'm going to receive a new response, then automatically a telegram, then automatically a notification should be sent to my team on telegram. So here to do this, firstly, I need to fill out this Google form. Then the response of this Google form will be added in my Google Sheet. And then it will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. And then it will be sent to my team on Telegram. So now here you can see that I need to do a test submission or record. So I'm going to fill out this form. So here I'm going to fill in the details. Let's say I'm going to mention the name as Demo Dummy. And here I'm going to mention an email address that will be demo dummy at the rate pablitudes.com. And here the summary will be ERP portal issue. And here the description will be login and logout issue. So, okay, I've mentioned the details and now I'm going to click on submit. So here you can see that it says got it. We will email with your resolution. That means the form submission has been made. So I'm going to take you to the Google sheet. And now here you can see that I have received a response. And over here in this Google sheet in a new row, the details of the response is successfully added. So that means the same details would have been captured in Public Connect. So taking you to Public Connect and here you can see that, yes, I've received a response. Here is the trigger column and here is the timestamp, summary, spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index, name, email address and the description. That means the form response is successfully captured over here in Pabli Connect. So the first objective of this automation is set up. That means now whenever a new response will be received, then automatically that response details will be get captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So now as I've got the details, now I want to send a notification to my teammates on Telegram. So to do that here, I'm going to use Telegram bot as my action application. And to do that, firstly, I need to establish a connection between Telegram bot and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I need to mention the token. So here, these are the steps given to get your token. So now I'm going to tell you, so I'm going to take you to my telegram account. So here I'm going to search for bot father and here I'm going to click on start. And now here I'm going to click on new bot. So now I need to give a name to my bot. So here I'm going to give the name as employee response. And here now I need to select the username. So make sure that it ends with underscore bot. So here I'm going to mention it as employee response underscore bot. 
so here you can see that a new bot has been created and from this link i can access my bot so here as i've clicked on this link and i've got this bot in my one of the conversations so now this here is the token given which i need to mention in public connect i'm going to copy the same and here in public connect i'm going to paste it and click on save so here you can see that telegram bot and public connect is successfully connected so now moving to the chat id so here in telegram i have created a group by the name of employee welfare and this here is my chat id so i'm going to copy it and here in public connect i'm going to paste the same so now moving to the text message here i need to frame the text message which i want to send so now i'm going to frame it so this here is the text message which i have framed it goes as dear teammates these are the concerns received through employee survey reply i agree if if you also have the same concern so here i'm going to map the issue from the response that i have received so basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step so here as i've received the response from google form so that is why i'm going to map it from the response that i've received so once here as i've mapped the details this method of mapping is important so that every time you will receive a new response so that can be taken into consideration in these fields if i would have written this information manually in that case this information could have become static which means that it wouldn't change even if i would have received a new response so to avoid that problem we map the information so here you can see that i have mentioned the chat id and the text message so now here i am going to take you to my telegram account and over here in this group of mine that is by the name of employee welfare i am going to add the bot as an admin so now to do that here you can do it through your phone so i am going to mention the bot as the admin in this group so here you can see that i have added the telegram bot as a admin over here in this group so now what i am going to do is here in public connect so as i've made the telegram bot as the admin so here in public connect i'm going to click on save and send test request so here you can see that i have received a response and this here is a positive one so now i'm going to take you to my telegram account and over here you can see that here is a new message received it goes as dear teammates these are the concerns received through employee survey reply i agree if you also have the same concern so here is the issue and here is the description so that means now whenever a new response will be received through google forms then a notification will be sent to my teammates on telegram automatically so this integration and automation is a successful one that means now whenever a new response will be received through google forms then a notification will be sent to my teammates on telegram not just these applications you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of pably connect so if you have any doubts regarding pably reach us at support@pably.com and if If you have any queries you can visit us at forum.pably.com if you have any pricing related query you can visit this link so if you like this video please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like share and subscribe our channel